And lastly, we'll end again on my man D Styles, Dave, um, musicality. We we listened to some tracks off of Phantasmagoria, you know, where he composed a whole album out of you know turntable and mixer. Dave is known for incredible hand drumming, uh, you know, making a beat with a kick and a snare and a hat um, with his hand. Uh, phrasing instrumental samples, so like piano samples, uh, bass line samples, etc. You can watch this uh, Serato video where Dave just kind of goes off, and you, uh, you know, I don't, I want you to see the breadth of of all this, and and you know what what people can do, um, you know, with with a turntable, because I I think it's really impressive. I think it's really amazing, um, and it's really fucking hard. <laughs> like I've been doing this for a long time, never dedicated myself like any of these dudes and ladies, uh, kitty, um, you know, never, never dedicated myself like these people, you know, and, and, and it's just so hard, you know, and the amount of dedication and time to get this good and get this ill is like, it's incredible. It's just like any other instrument, you know, but it's often looked down upon, you know, cause there's a lot of people who make turntable music and, and beats and stuff. They don't read music. They don't know how to play music, you know, but they, they touch sound and and they make stuff that people love. And uh, until you you do it for yourself, you know, and and can, you know, manipulate music and touch sound like this. You, it's really hard to understand that. But anyways, that was a little talk, you know, on um, the influence of Filipino Americans on the turntable of scratch and DJ scene and kind of going over you know, some of the different um, techniques involved, some of the different styles in battling, some, of, you know, a little bit about the battles themselves, um, and, you know, try to show the expansiveness, but also really want to, you know, center on the influence of the, you know, the, uh, you know, young Pinoys, um, you know, on turntablism and, and scratching here in the United States and obviously globally and, uh, and abroad. So, anyways, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, be, we'll be back uh, next week, you know what I'm saying? The next couple modules, we'll talk about racial authenticity and whiteness. Um, and we'll also, we'll end, uh, you know, with a day where we, we talk about beat making and, and the late, great Jay Dilla. Uh, some more modern music and how rap has changed um, in the last, you know, whatever, almost damn near 50 years. All right, stay up, stay tough, stay healthy, stay strong. Uh, peace out.